Okay, about two weeks ago, my sister and I went over to my mom's place to give her a hand. And well, actually, we did it. We cleaned out her basement for her because it needed it. 50 years of collecting stuff and whatever. Well, long story short, this was my grandmother's, my mother's mother. And it got, you know, when she passed, mom got it, it got put down in the basement. This is a griddle for on top of the stove. I mean, it doesn't look like one now. You can see it's in pretty bad condition. But mom came down and inspect everything when we were done. And uh, I showed her this and she said, oh, too bad we can't fix it. And I said, well, it might be able to be brought back. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I have two other videos in limbo right now. I'm waiting for parts. One with a tractor and one with a motor to replace on my bandsaw. So until the parts come in, can't do much with that. And since I had a little free time here, I figure I'd uh, hit this up and try to bring this back around. This will come back around. It'd have a little bit of rough spots in it here and there, but I'll quit running my mouth and I'll lock her up in the vise and I'll hit her. I think I'm going to give this to mom for Mother's Day. It's nothing like giving her something she already owns, right? Saves on money. Okay, let me get started here. Yeah, I'm going to get some hearing protection too, because this is about loud. The way that smells, I should probably be wearing a respirator. Some kind of mung in it. All right, now, we got her down to metal. <laughs> Look at this. Mm. <clears throat> now it needs to be seasoned. So let me pack it up and take it down the house. And I'll cook that off and hit it with a little oil. All right, just wash it off with some Dawn real thoroughly to make sure there was no other oils and grease and residue from that uh, wire wheel I used on it. Now I'm going to set her on the flames. Get a paper towel. Put a little olive oil on it. Oh, excuse me.
bring her up to temperature. Now, Judas, I can't believe how this still smells like that basement. That is incredible. This is only going to be the initial. I'm probably going to cook this off a couple of times in order to be sure nothing's living in the pores. Make sure it's all dead. What would be ideal would be lay it on, on top of the wood stove, but I don't know how the wood stove going. And it's been pretty nice out today, so I don't think I'm going to set turn it up tonight or fire it up tonight. But, as you can see, this looks a whole lot better than it did. Now, I got that coated up pretty hard with oil, but again... Best case scenario would be to leave that smoke off the first time, throw it on top of a grill, or you could do, I could do it in the oven, but if I do it in the oven, my house is going to get smoky. I mean, I'll let this smoke a little bit. I have some window fans I could turn on, but that's back to being a usable griddle. And that took me probably an hour from start to finish. Now again, this isn't the final coat on this. This needs to coat up a couple of times. As you use it, you can coat it and it'll keep going and she'll turn black. But it certainly looks a whole lot better than it did. Thanks for watching.